complete an associate in arts at CF and be guaranteed admission to a state of Florida university. CF is ranked number 13 in the U.S. for affordability, is military friendly, and offers a full student life experience. Make CF your first choice. Call 352-873-5800. All right, seven minutes after eight o'clock, 57 degrees. Temperatures are expected to climb to 78 today. Tomorrow, about 82 the expected high. Then Wednesday, 77 the expected high. So you can see for the next today, tomorrow, Wednesday, around 80 degrees the expected high. But Thursday is when things drop a lot. 60 degrees the expected high on Thursday with 43 the expected low Thursday night. And that cool weather should usher in a bit of rain. Um, Temperatures are expected to drop into the lower, uh, I'm sorry, the upper 30s for Friday night and Saturday night. Um, But then sunny skies and cool temperatures on Sunday. It looks like Saturday morning. Now, let me look at this real quickly, what they're saying for Saturday morning, because Saturday is the day of the parade. And it looks like there might be a chance of rain early Saturday, but by the time the parade... What time does the parade start, Robin? Seven? Something like that? Uh, it's, it's only... A, a, well, zero. Zero percent chance of rain at 3 p.m. So uh, that's as of right now. I, I never know how they can figure that so far in advance. Uh, Galen Unold is on the phone. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry. Robin, how are you all? Pretty good. Where are you right now? Uh, just on my way to Gainesville. How was your uh, weekend? Uh, it was all right. Um, nothing dramatic happened, which is always good. Just a yeah, uh, kind of relaxing weekend. <clears throat> yeah, that's always good. Um, so um, we were talking about the parade. Dr. Heidi Mayer was here with uh, Kevin Christian. We were mm-hmm. talking about the parade. Kevin is the MC, of course, for that broadcast. That, that's always that's kind of like you, you with play by play, isn't it? I mean, you have to really know what you're looking at to be able to tell us what we're seeing. Hey, Kathy. Kathy just brought in some toys for Jerry Gers, Florida Kids Helping Kids, and next Monday she's bringing in a bicycle. Oh, wow. That is so awesome, oh, wow. and more toys to come, so thank you so much. So, Galen, have you ever done a play-by-play of a parade? Uh, only on WOCA, and that was, that was uh, <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that again. Oh, no, we do. Well, I, think the, I, I think the key is, is you have to care about it. Our, I mean, you know, you ours is to, informal, yeah. Yeah, but you have to care about whatever it is you're broadcasting, and I, I, I don't care very much about that. Yeah, well, can I say something I like that? I think it's fun to watch. I think it's fun to see. Right. I don't care enough to know everything there is to know about oh, it. Yeah, but okay, okay. But you're not in Kevin Christian's seat. He's got to care. In, in our world, Robin is the only one who has to care. The rest of us, is it's actually fun to listen to people who don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I I think so. I think it's fun to listen. To the, oh, there's this float. Oh, that's nice. And then Rob will say, "No, that's not just a nice float." And then she'll tell you the details, and we'll go, "Oh, okay. I didn't know that." <laughs> <laughs> don't you think? Don't you think it's fun to hear? I mean, wouldn't that be fun for, on a football game to listen to a color guy who says, "I don't care"? Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Uh, we tried it. Uh, I wanted to see how that would work, you know, where you get some of the other ambiance, but uh, I, I don't know. We tried it with I, me, I, I you mean. He tried it with me. Yeah, well, if we would have had the, you know, if Adam would have known what he was doing, could have communicated. <laughs> uh, but, so, um, no, I don't know. I mean, I, again, no, you, you want to hear somebody, you want to listen to somebody who cares and is passionate and so even if you don't care, their passion will make you care. Because if they don't care, why should you care? There you go. There you go. All right. So I have something here that I can relate to because it is uh, things you can do while you're waiting for the parade to start. So let me, let me tell you about our Thanksgiving. It starts at 5.30, right? It starts at 5.30. The parade, what, yes. what time does it start? Five? Yeah. Five. Well, five, 5 o'clock is the reindeer run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then after that, the parade steps off. Okay. Thank you, Robin. Because I didn't know. You were out of the room when I was looking at the Sorry. I was helping. So the theme this year is Home for the Holidays. That's the theme. But, okay, so going back to our trip to New York, we were waiting for the Thanksgiving parade. We got there two hours early. Mm Mm-hmm. And then, of course, it took about an hour for the parade to get from the beginning of it to where where we were standing. Okay? So there's like a big three-hour wait, not to mention the crowds. And the security and all the other stuff that you had to put up with in that particular parade. So I have a list of things you can do, uh, since I have experience now from a few weeks ago, (laughs) while you're waiting for for the parade to start. Because a lot of people come to the Ocala Parade hours. They'll be there at noon. Oh, yeah. And the thing doesn't start till 5. That's right. right. Well, their chairs will be there at noon. 
<laughs> the uh, chairs can oh. be started setting up on December the 6th on Wednesday, That's according a long to the. Way. Yeah. Two more days, the chairs can be started to be I set up. I think people will be sitting there, though, pretty early, right? Don't they get there pretty early? Oh, yeah, yeah. They get there about 12 o'clock to scope out their spot and everything. And then, you you, you know, you go down to a restaurant or you bring your coolers. And it's, it's really a lot of fun. Mm. I love it. I was always there early with my children. We had a good time. So uh, what, what I have a, 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 a uh, what do you call this thing? A scavenger hunt, a crowd scavenger hunt, okay? Nice. Okay, that you can do, okay. So, and you have to, whoever can see the most of these things. So this is a game you play with the rest of your party, <laughs> okay? I love that. <laughs> okay, ready? How many people do you see wearing helmets? You see, you can look for, how many people do you see wearing helmets? Oh, okay. Because every time you see a helmet, it's like, oh, I got one. You know, there's uh -huh. some scavenger hunt. I, yeah. I forgot what helmet. Oh, that's cool. Galen, do you, you think this will work? Uh, I mean, if you have young kids, I think so. Yeah. How many if people? You have, if you have young kids, you have to figure out, you can't be getting there hours ahead of time. You can't afford it. Because every time that guy cooks, drives by with his cart with the lighted things, <laughs> you're going to be broke. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, oh, okay, please, please, please. And you buy him something, it's $7. <laughs> and the radius, the <laughs> um, so another one is you look for somebody wearing a fake Santa beard. Oh, How many that's people are, we are wearing a fake Santa beard? That's super fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people will be doing that. All right. Um, another thing for the scavenger hunt, you look for somebody showing a whale tail. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, do you, th you think you see any? I saw something up in New York is why this came to mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you're going to see them. I, again, I don't know if I want people to point them out. I think they need to discover that on their own. That's, I don't think that's something that their parents should teach them. Oh, you don't, how, no, kids will see it. They'll say, look at that. You can see that lady's underwear, Mom. Exactly. It's, it's a whale tail, by exactly. the way. Exactly. Oh, ones. yeah, I learned that. <laughs> <laughs> Galen, how many? Oh, never mind. All right, so the, here's here's another. Oh, bring a tub of sidewalk chalk so the kids can uh, draw on the sidewalk. Oh, how clever! Yeah. I love go. that. That's great. Yeah, draw Santa Claus and Christmas trees. Yeah, the kids never got idea. into drawing. They never. They they would have been like, oh, okay. But well, you could do They'd like end up playing like tic tac toe. You could, yeah, you could do you could do Christmas X's and <laughs> I mean uh, football X's and O's. You know. <laughs> Exactly. That would be such fun. Offense and defense for, for parades and, par and parade ease. <laughs> um, you, can, you can come equipped with some trivia and just start asking trivia questions out loud and see how many people within hearing distance will answer the questions. Oh, I like that. Let's just ask it. Just ask yeah, trivia questions. People will participate because they're very chatty <laughs> right. in the parade right. waiting. Right. Yeah. They don't feel threatened or anything because everybody's there for the same reason to have a good time. Yeah. Name name a year that Santa Claus was not in the Ocala Christmas mm -hmm. Parade. Yeah. See if anybody can come up with that one, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> name the year Santa Claus was actually a Jewish man. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. Remember we had a rabbi that was Santa Claus one year? Oh, now wait. Let me think in my thing. I I don't recall that. Yeah, it was black. Really? Yeah, you know, the, the black beard is what gave it away. Oh. And little curly hairs around his ears. But otherwise, he looked like Santa Claus. For real? Yeah. You don't remember that? I don't remember that year. Uh, Gosh. Galen, do you remember that? Nice. Nope. Nope. All right. Look for somebody carrying a baby. Oh, there's a lot of those. Yeah. I mean, inside. Yeah. Oh, inside. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you mean just a pregnant mom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a mom-to-be, oh. yeah. A oh, okay. Mom -to -be, yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> much easier. Now, here's a good one, uh, because this one I, I might be included. Look for somebody who is very old. See? Now, now, somebody who's five could point to me, right? Exactly. And somebody who's 80 won't point to me, see? No. Uh-uh. No. No. <laughs> I love these questions. These are great questions. These are scavenger hunt things. Look for somebody wearing a cowboy hat, Galen. You think you'll see any of those in the Christmas parade at oh, Ocala? Yeah. Yeah, there are plenty of rednecks in the parade. <laughs> <laughs> plenty. <laughs> All right. um, Those are great questions. Yeah. I have to look up the rabbi one, though. You have to tell me what year and who he was. <laughs> okay. Look for, look for, I don't remember that. You know, parade probably has a Wikipedia page. <laughs> they probably do. Yeah, they probably do. 
Uh, look for a child with a balloon. Look for a child with a balloon. Think you see any of them? I think there'll be a lot of them. A lot of them? Yeah. Here's I, think so. I don't know. I, I don't balloons. think they give out. They don't sell too many of those. Here's a trivia question from the Ocala Christmas Parade. When were the only years when you saw Disney World represented in the Ocala Christmas Parade? Oh, gee. I know they had Mickey and Minnie one year. I, I think it was like 99, 2000, something like that. Yeah, I was going to guess the late 90s. Well, I don't know the Mickey years. I'm just, it's just a question. I don't oh, know the answer. Oh, okay. I thought we were oh, supposed oh, to guess the year. Uh, okay. Alex Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Mickey mean, and Minnie. Well, it was when we had the Disney Information Center in town. That's yeah. when we had it. And that was the night. Well, then I'm just going to go ahead and say, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it's 99. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Right. That makes sense to me. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Yeah, that was. I don't know. I don't know how many kids have them balloons. How would I know any of these answers, Galen? Like, how could I know these? No, I thought that one was like, oh, you said, well, here's a trivia question right, you could ask. And right. I figured you were going to give us that. No, 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 no. Answer. I'm just saying you could ask it out loud and then somebody else could answer. Like you did. That's a perfect. And then just start a fight, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have the answer. I mean, if you're going to ask a trivia question, you're going to need to know the answer. <laughs> okay. All right. Now I know the rules. I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought, I thought you could just ask questions. <laughs> just random questions why is the sky blue I mean, that kind of thing well somebody will want to know the answer though uh, all right so we'll absolutely and then they're going to go to you because you asked it and they're going to be like well i don't know i love asking this. the questions here folks. I, I love this we're going to have to use these <laughs> on the air when we broadcast so don't throw the list away this is fun okay all right. It'll be good chat when there's a lull in the parade. Uh, look for somebody who's obviously a tourist visiting Ocala. There you go. There you go. <laughs> how do you, okay. <laughs> how, do, how, do, how do you find them? How do you know they're a tourist? Because, because they're bragging. It's, this isn't cold. <laughs> they're you know? the ones in the shorts. and, they're and the, Yeah, they're, they're the ones who are going to say, coats. are you kidding me? This isn't cold. <laughs> yeah. those, are, those, are, those are Canadians. They just live here part time. <laughs> <laughs> They are destroying our road system. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. And what else you got? Seeing more and more of them every day. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but they're good for economy. <laughs> look for somebody wearing a baseball hat. I'm not sure about that. But, yeah. But look for somebody wearing a baseball hat with a team that you don't like. That's uh, easy. That's easy for you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Um... Let's see if I have something here. Uh, look for a woman with red toenails. Look for a woman with red toenails. Cold outside. Aren't they going to wear closed-toed shoes? Uh, not the tourists. They'll be, they'll be having the open toe shoes. There will be local okay. ladies with, uh, with uh, um, toes showing through their shoes. With, with, with will be in December? And things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they'll be uh, wearing that at night. Of course they will. Yep. So where will you be? Are you going to sit with us? No, I'm not going to the parade. You don't want to come and, and do the broadcast uh, with us? Uh -uh. You know, jo no. Joe is going to be over at the at the where Kevin is. Yeah, Joe's one of the judges at the Ocala well, Shopping Joe's Center. Big time. Joe's Joe's becoming really big time. He is. So He's yeah, no, I have no way. I, you know, I, I the only time you go to the parade is if your child's in it, or you have something to do within it, or your kids are really small. Yeah, but you're no, uh, you're, kids are beyond but that. you're a local celebrity. You got to be on the broadcast. No, I'm not. No, I don't. My but mom are better without me. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We did the we did the first Friday art walk on Friday. We had a couple of people asking us about you. Exactly, exactly. They loved this great. segment. That was great. So good. My uh, mother goes to the parade every year. She brings her chair up there. She loves it. I mean, my children aren't in town, and <laughs> she just. I mean. I do too. I, I I love the parade, even though I have nobody in there. Yeah, parades don't. They're not that. I don't. They're not that exciting to me. Mm -hmm. But you could make boring. it exciting. But maybe maybe there's other people who agree with you, who say, yeah, but, not only is it not exciting, but listening to it on the radio is even worse. And so you could make it better. Well, there's a lot. There, I, it's, yeah, I've got <laughs> I've got three soccer games this week. I got a play to go to. 
Oh, then, there you go. And then uh, got an all-star football game to get ready for. I, I don't. I don't have time for the parade. I need so, a Saturday night myself. So listen to this. The Disney, I just found it. The Disney Welcome Center in Ocala mm-hmm. was actually open for 18 years. Did you know that? 18 what? 18 Eight years. What? 18 Eight years. years. It was open for 18 years. Mm-hmm. That's great. It was behind Cracker Barrel where I think CS counts is now. So it, clo- uh-huh. it closed um, in 2006, I think. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for where it, when it closed. So th- does that mean that it was they had a, a presence in the in the Ocala Christmas Parade for 18 years? No, I don't think. so. I either. don't think so. I think it was just that year. See, this with is, this is why you have to have the answer before you. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking. You ask that question. I'm looking for it because they made it the Disney Welcome Center, and then AAA came in and rented space from there, and so you could go and plan your trip and get the trip ticks and everything. They were in the back. But they had the coolest Christmas gifts there. It was so compact, and I bought a few, and it was, you know, very enjoyable when they were here in Ocala. So how, how many of you remember this about that? When, uh, for a while, when they were open, Robin and I worked for the for the CNN Travel Center. Mm-hmm. So does that ring a bell, Galen, at all? The CNN Travel Center? No, oh, not at all. Oh, really? Do you, you know where... Um, Chuck E. Cheese is. With Chuck E. Cheese's, right? Mm-hmm. Right across the, yeah. uh, like three, three door. what is it, a Verizon store now? Yep, it's a Verizon, there's casual mail in there, and then there's something else. It's right. So it's, three it's, things. It's the end store, right, like th- next door to uh, Freddy's. Yeah. So that was the CNN Travel Center. Now, we didn't broadcast from there, but the public thought we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, it was set up to look like that was the broadcast place. They had a fake um, broadcast room in there. Yeah. And they had TVs all tuned to CNN, blah, and blah, blah. An and and they, would the sell, they would sell tickets. So we were only uh, across the street and down the road from the, travel, the Disney Travel Center. Mm-hmm. And so we had to deal with the Disney people. Um, to sell their tickets, and then they rescinded the deal, right? Yeah. Because yeah, they, they had, okay. So we sold Universal and everything else, and they, and then Disney was down the road. But we had a deal to send people their way when they came to us for Disney tickets. Right. All right. Exactly. So, so we would be the loop. Robin and I were the loop on on the radio. WTMC. Yeah, back because we went through a time where it was it was really horrible to listen to locally. All it was was Robin and the Giant going. Yeah. Hey, if you're traveling down the interstate, don't forget to stop and see Splendid China. Exactly. Robin, why should I go to Splendid China? And then yeah. and then Rob would say something. Oh, because it's fun. Yeah. There's a miniature Great Wall. Yeah. You t- you can be taller than the Great Wall of China. It was fun. We had a Do you good time that? writing those. Did yeah. you ever go to that one, Galen? We that that, that, that attraction. Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't remember. Uh, or I mean, you... I've been to the Great Wall of China. So we had but, like a t- uh, I don't think I went to the fake one. So we had a twenty-minute loop, or more than one twenty-minute loop, and it would just repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. And as you're driving through the area, there would be these billboards say, "Tune in to whatever the number was." And and uh, listen to the dis- to the travel information, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, anyway, so the theme this year for the parade, what did I say it was? Home for the holidays. Yes. So you guys, yeah. you guys have a, have a uh, float? No. You said no. You- Light Shop doesn't have one this year. No. Uh, so uh, when Dr. Heidi Mayer was here, we were talking about things you can do waiting for the parade. And she said you could donate blood. Yeah, that was really great. Oh, that's great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's amazing. We'll go in there. We actually know. close. We'll we'll actually close at five o'clock our normal time. Um, we used to try to be open during the parade. It's way too much. It's just because uh, every all anybody wants to do is use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Can yeah right? Can so. you actually donate blood on a moving bus? Uh, you can. We don't. I mean, you're not. I don't know if you can legally. Because okay. there's got to be certain parameters within the bus and things like that. No, you cannot. Because if you ever, I would encourage you not to. If, but if yeah. you ever were in the parade with the bus, I would like to be donating blood while the while the bus is moving down the boulevard. Would that be great? <laughs> <laughs> you can't have the really see open. anything. <laughs> can't really see anything. Yeah, you can. I can see out those windows. <laughs> Depending on where they're positioned. I guess. I, I mean, I, maybe one or two of them you can see. And, and your wife, Christy, does the decorations, right, in the bus? 
No. No? Oh, I thought she did. Who told me that she did? Oh, oh I can't. I know somebody did. Somebody hmm. told us that. Yeah. Are you going to be, is, is Life South Community Blood Center going to be giving away parking spaces this year? Yeah, uh, I mean, absolutely. If you want to donate blood or if you're a regular blood donor and you want to park in there, all you have to do is just let us know and we'll make sure that we get you a pass. Absolutely. How, how many spaces awesome. do you have? Oh, like 55, I think. Oh, okay. So nice. 55 opportunities. So 55 people can donate blood and say, hey, yeah. I'm going to park my car there. Yeah, absolutely. Because you'll be right in the crux of things, right there. Yeah, it's a it's a fantastic spot. It How, is. That's why I've, I've, I have I don't ever get to the blood to the parade early. Mm -hmm. I just pull right up at the life south and back my car right up to the sidewalk and I'm done. Yeah, exactly. So, makes great. sense. Makes sense. All right, where's the blood mobile and how's the blood supply? Hey, the blood mobile today we're actually down in uh, the Bellevue Public Library, and uh, nice. so come out and see us and get a book and the guy with a forehead <laughs> and, uh, and and also and again we're we're talking about christmas we we really need to uh increase our our, our blood you know uh supply so we can meet the needs and the demands of this christmas holiday a lot of people decide to have elective surgeries um there are still treatments going on for cancer and other things like that so just please give the gift of life and donate blood and get a parking space yeah, parking space. That's a that's a good yeah. incentive right there. Exactly. All right. Um, I th has it been eight weeks for us yet? Are we ready to do it again? Probably. Probably. I have to look, but we we, we can call Life South and then they'll tell us the deal. Sure so that's really nice. All right. Six, six two two three five four four. There you go. All right, Gail. Thank you for what you do, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, sounds great. Thanks, y'all. We'll be right back. I'm Jennifer, the Executive Director of Palm Garden, and I would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. I'm Mary Ann, the Director of Clinical Services, and my staff and I will ensure that the needs of all our residents are met. I'm Nadia, the Director of Guest Services, and I will be fluffing pillows for our new guests staying with us over the holidays. I'm Crystal, also from Palm Garden, and I hope each of you have a blessed Christmas as we celebrate the Savior's birth. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas from, from Palm Garden! The most trusted name in news, Fox News, every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. When it really counts, depend on The Source for the latest weather updates, keeping you ahead of the storm. 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The president throws his support behind Alabama Republican Roy Moore in the race for Senate. Tweeting this morning, we need his vote on stopping crime, illegal immigration, border wall.